Hey beautiful people, how y'all doing? I hope you guys are doing wonderful. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Michelle and if you're one of my subscribers, welcome back. So I'm here today to share with you some products from the brand called Aesop. I've talked about this brand over and over again because I stumbled across the store and I fell in love. Aesop is an Australian brand and they make skincare products, hair care products, products for your household, and I would consider it to be luxury skincare. The reason why I love Aesop products is because I'm really into sensory skincare. I love my skincare items to have a pleasant aroma, to give me an aromatherapy kind of feeling while I'm using it. My skincare ritual is really luxurious, very relaxing. It's my time to kind of pamper myself at the beginning and at the end of my day. So I do tend to gravitate towards products that are mostly natural, have a really nice aroma, and perform well for my skin. So Aesop does all of those things, and today I have 13 products to share with you guys. But if there's something that I don't touch upon, feel free to leave a comment below. So let's get started. This first product I have is called the Resurrection Aromatic Hand Wash, and it has mandarin rind, rosemary leaf, and cedar atlas inside of it. This is a hand soap and I have it in 16.9 fluid ounces. When I first visited the Aesop store in Santa Monica, California, they told me that this was one of their best selling products and when I saw people walking in the store, they kept picking this up. I did not pick it up at first because I truly could not see myself spending that kind of money on hand soap, but as I fell in love with the brand, I truly do believe that their products are high performing and honestly, they are just so aesthetically pleasing in my bathroom. The way the soap sits next to the mouthwash that I'll talk about, everything just kind of comes together. The soap works well. Um, it works like soap. I'm not really that big on hand soap. I could go buy something from Bath & Body Works and I'm good with that. So to me, it works well. It smells really good, but it's just hand soap. So. In my opinion, I didn't see anything that was super special about this product other than the fact that it smells really nice and it looks really good. The next product I have is the Aesop mouthwash and it has clove bud, anise, and spearmint leaf in it. This is a regular mouthwash to help you clear any kind of bad breath or anything going on with your mouth. I love this mouthwash. First of all, look at how beautiful it is. Do you see like just the jar? The jar is glass but I do think that they sell some that are just like in a regular bottle. I love this top, this little beaker top. It's so freaking cute. You just pour the mouthwash in, you drink it, and your mouth is super happy. And it's super happy because this mouthwash does not burn your mouth at all. It's really smooth. And a lot of people have tried this mouthwash out when they came to visit me, and they've always made a comment about it afterwards, saying that it was kind of weird. The reason that they felt like it was weird was because it doesn't have that like really stinging feeling that Listerine gives you. It feels like it very much could just be even water, but it has that really nice spearmint taste at the end, and it does do the job as far as like clearing your bad breath. But if you're into like that stinging feeling that Listerine gives you, you're not gonna get that with this. I really like it. I've purchased it twice I do think it's really expensive for mouthwash but once you use this mouthwash you're not gonna feel comfortable using anything else <laughs> if you do go in the store to purchase it make sure that you ask for the little top because they don't just give it to you you have to actually ask for it and the last home product that I have are the Aesop post poo drops it has tangerine peel lang lang mandarin peel in it and it smells amazing when I first saw this product, I was like, um, I don't know about this. But someone in the store told me that she gave it out to people as housewarming gifts and everyone loved it. And what they are are drops just to freshen up the scent of the bathroom. It has a dropper on it. And how I use it is I just put a couple drops in the toilet and a couple drops in the sink whenever I feel like it. The whole bathroom smells so good. It's amazing how concentrated it is because just a couple drops gives the bathroom this really earthy, sweet, aromatic scent. It smells wonderful. This is something that I will continue to repurchase. It's not extremely long lasting, but it does linger for about an hour or so. And if you're really into kind of like the sensory experience when you're doing your skincare regimen, you could even put a couple of drops in the sink before you wash your face in the morning. And you can just kind of 
breathe and take in the aroma while you're washing your face, I promise you're gonna fall in love. This next product is the Resurrection Aromatic Hand Balm. And this is just a hand balm, it's a hand cream. I've heard so much about the Aesop hand creams. It seems like most people who are introduced to Aesop, it's kind of like their go-to product is their hand balm. So I really did have high expectations for it. I plan to use it as a hand lotion and as a foot lotion. And I love the way this smells. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. The cream is yellow. It's like a really thick yellow cream. The consistency of it is pretty thick. I love it as a hand lotion. I think it works really well. It's very creamy, very moisturizing, and it smells so good, guys. Oh my goodness. I love the way this smells. It has the same smell as the soap because they're both the resurrection. So you can buy them together, but would I repurchase it? No. For the price point, I can find much more reasonable hand balms to do the job. I wanted to also use it like as an all over body lotion because of the way it smelled, but honestly, it's just too expensive for that. It's only 2.6 ounces, so there's not that much in it. And I feel like with my body, I could probably finish it up in two to three uses. But as a hand cream and a foot cream, guys, it's very, very very good. After you use it on your hands, your hands don't feel greasy or sticky. It does moisturize, so it does sink into your skin. But like I said, there's no like greasy residue. The next product I have is the Parsley Seed Facial Cleansing Oil. And this has macadamia seed, tocopherol, beta carotene in it. And it's a mild facial cleanser that's suited for dry combination and sensitive skin. I will be doing a skincare video where I show you all my skincare products. And I'm also going to do a video that specifically looks at oil cleansers. And this is an oil cleanser. Um, one thing I just want to point out that I love about Aesop is I just love the packaging, you guys. The glass on it is so nice. I love the darkness of the bottles. It kind of looks like a medicine bottle people make comments about that it looks kind of like old school medicine I think it's beautiful it fits the aesthetic of my home I just love the fact that I can sit it out and it looks like it could be decor I think that's just oh I love that so back to the product this is a oil cleanser it's very very thick this was my go-to cleanser in the winter time because of how moisturizing it is in the morning when I wake up I don't like my skin to feel like it's stripped because I have a whole nighttime regimen for my skin in the morning, my skin looks really supple, it looks really fresh, and I don't like to just take away all of that. So I do like products that are really moisturizing. Even though I have combination skin, I do get oily in my T-zone. I still like products that are really moisturizing. This works really well, but let me tell you, do not put it on wet skin. Your face needs to be dry. You just take a couple drops and you mix it in with a little bit of water, just a tiny bit of water, a couple drops, and rub it through your hands. You put it on your face and it does turn into an oil. It does take off your makeup. Um, I would double cleanse with this. I like to use this and follow it up with another cleanser if I have makeup on, but if I'm using it in the morning, first thing when I wake up, I don't need to double cleanse. This is enough. I do think it's a wonderful product. I would definitely repurchase this. The only thing that I will say is that the top of it broke off, so I just hope that they do a better job of making sure that things like this are taken care of because it is a luxury product. You're spending a lot of money, so I would expect things to be intact. This next product is my staple face wash, and I love it, I love it. It's a parsley seed facial cleanser and black currant seed, and it's a gentle cleanser with a rich lather that's supposed to be good for all skin types, and it does have mild exfoliation because it does have lactic acid in it. It also does have some jojoba oil in it. Three words for you guys, love this cleanser. This cleanser is my favorite. And by the way, if you purchase the cleansers, make sure you ask for the pump. It does not come with the pump top. You need to ask for it. <sighs> this cleanser is super moisturizing and it's very thick. It's not runny at all. It's a really thick, thick, thick moisturizer. My skin always feels very supple after using this, but it does feel like it's cleansed. And I love using this to mix with other brands that have um, exfoliators, like powdered exfoliators. I love mixing it together, but I love this for cleaning my face. It is more so geared towards people who have drier skin uh, because it's so moisturizing. If you have really oily skin, I probably wouldn't recommend this. It's very gentle. Only thing I don't like about this product is that when my hands are wet, it 
doesn't foam up nicely. My face can be wet, but my hands need to be dry when I put the soap on my hands or else it won't lather up. So that's something that I kind of wish was different because it is annoying, but it works really well with Clarisonics or any kind of um, spatial brush. It works really well with that. You just put a couple pumps and it lathers like crazy. So this is something that's holy grail for me. I'll definitely repurchase it. This next product is the Purifying Facial Exfoliant Paste, and this is a facial exfoliator. It's very mild. It removes impurities on the skin. It has fine quartz, rosemary, and lactic acid in it as well. I... I'm obsessed with this. This is my favorite facial exfoliator ever. The product is white, but it does have these little beads in it to exfoliate your face with, but they're not harsh at all. The smell of this is really weird. I didn't particularly like the smell of this. It kind of smells like food to me and not food that I like. It just, it just doesn't smell good at all, in my opinion. It does smell earthy and maybe the rosemary in it that's giving it that smell. I'm not a fan of the rosemary smell, so it's probably that. But this product works so well. It takes off all the dead skin off my face. My face doesn't feel dry after using it. My face feels renewed. So I love, love, love this exfoliator. I use it maybe once a week, if I remember. My skincare, it just, you know, it's, I listen to my skin. So if my skin needs to be exfoliated if it feels like it has a lot of gunk on it if it feels like it's really dirty this resets it for me so i love this product this next product is a face mask and it's called the blue chamomile facial hydrating mask it has neocytamine sodium carrageen and bisabolol in it and it's supposed to be a hydrating facial mask to refresh, soften, and replenish normal to dry skin. I thought it was interesting for a facial mask to be in a little pump like this. That was different. Usually the masks are like in jars. But I have talked about this mask a lot in a lot of different videos. This is one of my hands down favorite moisturizing masks. It's really hard to find a really good moisturizing face mask. Um, this is very, very, very potent it's very potent. You only need a little bit and you just kind of put it onto your face. It's clear. As soon as you put it onto your face, you will feel it's kind of stinging. It, you can tell something is working. There's something going on with it and I love it. I leave it on for about 30 to 45 minutes and then I just take my toner and I take a cotton swab and I wipe the mask off of my face with it. That's another thing that I love about this mask is that I don't have to wash it off with water. I like masks that I can just take off with a toner. It's super moisturizing. So I love to use it right after I use a clay mask or any mask that's really purifying because it brings all of the moisture back into my face. It's never let me down and everyone that I've put this mask on, yes, I make people try my stuff, <laughs> people who come over and I put the mask on them, whether male or female, has been so impressed by how well it worked. If I ever had to just pick one mask that was super moisturizing, it would be this one. This next product I have is the Parsley Seed Antioxidant Serum, and it has grape seed, pathanol, and parsley seed in it, and it says it's a rich antioxidant daily use moisturizer for normal to combination and sensitive skin. It has grape and parsley seed extracts in it, and after you cleanse and tone, you're supposed to apply it to your hands and massage it into your face. I'm new to using serums as a moisturizer. I've always used creams or gels on my face, so this was different for me. But it's pretty much almost finished because I really liked it. And you just take a couple drops, you put it onto your face. I actually put it directly onto my face because I feel like that way I don't waste any product by sinking into my palms. I bought that product on accident. I meant to get the potent, like small parsley seed antioxidant um, product, but I got the wrong one. And I ended up with this, but I actually liked it. I used it the most in the winter time. I used it during the day. I would actually layer this underneath the parsley seed antioxidant, the actual lotion. And my face was just like unbelievably moisturized. Moisture to a whole nother level. But just using this product by itself, it's fine. It works as a moisturizer. My face felt hydrated. It felt moisturized. I didn't feel like I necessarily needed to put anything over it. Um, in the summertime, I think this is going to be awesome for anyone who has oily to combination skin because it sinks into your skin and you don't need to put on a lotion. And so it's light, it's airy. You can go out and not worry about feeling greasy. Now, is it something I would run out and go repurchase? I wouldn't. 
I wouldn't, I probably would never repurchase that because it wasn't mind blowing. It didn't make me just go, oh, wow, my face looks so amazing. It was just a good product. So if you're looking for something like that, I would go with it. I didn't break out and have any adverse effects at all with it. This next product is the Bitter Orange Astringent Toner and it has bitter orange in it, witch hazel, rosemary leaf, and it's a toner that's supposed to help to smooth your face with a matte finish. And you're just supposed to use a cotton pad and rub it on your neck and your forehead. So I just started using this toner about a month ago and I was just in need of a toner and I trust Aesop. So I went with it without really doing any research. And that's another thing about this brand. There's not that many reviews on YouTube. <laughs> I searched up and down when I first started getting into it just trying to find reviews so that I can know before I spend all that money but the reviews on YouTube were really scarce so I felt like I really needed to come back and do a review on all of these things so this toner is pretty good in my opinion it works I wasn't blown away by it but then again I'm not necessarily blown away by toners I do love my Chanel toner for the winter time it's awesome but this does the job it takes off all of the makeup or whatever residue or dirt was left on my face after washing and it works the smell is not my favorite I don't really like the way it smells and once again it does have rosemary in it so that might be what I'm smelling I wouldn't necessarily call this a gentle toner because you do feel that kind of sting that you feel and I think that's the witch hazel in it but it's not stripping at all my face doesn't feel like it was stripped after using it I think it's fine I'm not quite sure if I would ever repurchase it um, if it was available and I saw it and maybe if I needed one but I wouldn't run out to go get it again. The next product I have is called Remove and it has grapeseed oil, topiferol, which is vitamin E, and blue chamomile and it's a gentle eye makeup remover that's oil based. So I bought this because I was running out of my Chanel eye makeup remover which is my favorite. So I decided to try this one. It's really tiny if you look at how small this is. I wasn't expecting it to be this little. This is a toner and this is a 6.8 of the cleansing oil so you can see how small it is. It's tiny. It's only two fluid ounces and it's an eye makeup remover. I did not like this product. Um, it really sticks onto your cotton pad as you're using it. Even though it's an oil, I feel like it kind of soaks into the cotton pad and it doesn't give you a whole lot to work with. I just didn't like the feeling. It was more the feeling I felt on my fingertips with the cotton pad and the oil. It just something about it did not work out for me. The smell is okay. I wasn't crazy about the scent, but it's not very strong. I just don't think this product is necessary. I could take my makeup off with other things that are a lot less expensive. I thought this was gonna kind of like blow me away, but in my opinion, it, oh, look at that. It says a damp, <laughs> it says a damp cotton pad look. See, I wasn't even following the directions. I'm gonna have to wait on my review on this one because I just read that the cotton pad is supposed to be damp and I definitely never wet it. And that's the thing about these kinds of products. You have to use them the way that you're instructed to use them before you can say whether or not it works. So I'm gonna have to get back to you on this. This next product is the Parsley Seed Antioxidant Hydrator with white tea, pathanol, willow herb in it and it's a light rapid absorbing facial moisturizing fluid that delivers superb antioxidant hydration. This is definitely my favorite moisturizer for the winter. I've purchased this twice already and I love it. I absolutely love it. It's so thick and rich. It smells amazing and after I use it instantly my skin is plumped instantly hydrated instantly plumped really supple looking very soft it does have a little bit of greasiness to it there's a little bit of grease you can't use too much you only need a tiny amount i would say about half a dime size you just need a little bit if you put a lot on your face it's going to look a little bit oily a little bit greasy even under makeup using it my makeup would go on so flawlessly. But like I said, if you use too much, it can be a problem, especially if you use a primer because of how thick this is, it kind of turns into this kind of like grainy white texture. I, don't, I can't really explain it, but it's just, it's a no-go, it's not good. So you need to use only a little bit. Within like two days of using uh, the cleansing oil and this particular product, 
my face was noticeably more supple. So this is something I would definitely repurchase. It says it's ideal for fatigued skin exposed to drying environments such as an office space or an airline cabin. It refreshes and tones the skin by con congested by humidity or pollution. So this is an interesting little product. Um, I wasn't, when I initially bought it, I bought it to use as a toner, but I realized that it could have better uses. This is one of those facial sprays that you use. If you're in an airplane, you wanna freshen up your face because you know your skin does kind of get yucky when you travel. It's really small, so you can put it in your purse or your bag, and I like it. I like the way it mists out the quality of the the quality of the mister is really good because it does have a really clean light spritz. I've never used it over makeup to see if it was like a setting spray, but that's not how it's marketed. So it's truly just to refresh your face. I think it's a nice product. It has a pretty decent smell, kind of orangey. I wouldn't repurchase it because I don't really need it. And I really only want to keep things that I'm like in love with and not just things to have. So I will finish it, but it's not something that I'm going to repurchase. Another way I use it is right before I go to the gym, I spray my face with it um, just to kind of refresh my face and tone it because I do wash my face right before I go to the gym. All right, you guys, that was a lot. That was a lot. But thank you so much for sticking with me. Let me know if you have any questions about these products. I love Aesop. I love the brand. This isn't sponsored. I purchased all of this with my own money. But Aesop, if you do want to sponsor me, I would be more than happy to do that because I love this brand. If you get a chance to actually go into an Aesop store, you should because it is an experience. The ambiance of it is really nice. It's really neat. You can try out all the products inside the store. They have lots of big sinks and the people who work with you are really knowledgeable. They're really sweet and they'll help you find whatever it is that you need or give you samples to try out before you spend the money on it. So let me know if you guys have any questions. If you don't, big kisses to you all. Mwah! Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace, love, and life.